After school, your dad came to see me. He said, my son is going to be a scientist, and I don't want you to encourage him any further in his music. I thought many times, why don't I play instruments that people know what they are? I never come up with anything that can mean enough to make me try and redirect my passion. Mother Nature gives you the wood. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> to make the music with, exactly. to make the sound. Yeah. I've always wondered what has the path been for others who play my instruments. There's an emotional attachment having to do with my family and my mother's sacrifice, my father's sacrifice. This was my debut in Town Hall, New York in 1956. As a kid, I started playing the vibraphone and uh, it was 1949. I was six years old and the vibraphone was 20 years old. Lionel Hampton embodies this movement from kind of a background gimmicky instrument to a viable solo instrument to an actual featured band leader's instrument. Here came Milt. He came to prominence in the, in the early 50s. And my goal was to give it prominence, to give it respect. <laughs> Music is part of life. You choose to be part of it or you are out of it. We always seek fulfillment. We're all looking for the wholeness. The poem, The Angels by John Updike, talks about the good gentlemen Brahms, Handel, Mozart, and Scarlatti, and how they lavished measures of light upon us, telling us over and over that there is a realm above this planet of silent compromise. And your dad came over and he said, do you remember the day that I told you not to encourage my son in music? I was wrong.